going to start today by telling you a story about a man who came to my office at the oncology clinic because he was diagnosed with cancer. I explained to him that this cancer can be cured following a treatment protocol. But then and there, he declines all offered treatment because he has read that a certain dietary shift could have a, the same or better effect. I felt fear, sorrow, and frustration. So does all my colleagues every time this happens. It doesn't happen very often at a larger clinic, maybe once a year, but it happens because someone has claimed that a diet can have a miraculous effect on our health on a certain disease without the science to back the claim. Can cancer be cured by a dietary change? Well, there are stories on the internet of patients with spread incurable cancer who have experienced complete remission after having changed their diet. And I have myself seen at least partial remission in patients who have made big changes to their diet. But I have also seen rapid progression of cancer despite big dietary changes. The important point is that there are no studies that have shown the exact benefit of an intensive dietary change in cancer patients. But two good news. First, the majority of cancer patients are cured today by conventional treatment. And second, there are other diseases where a diet, a change in diet, have been shown in clinical trials to have, in fact, a miraculous effect, and I will show them today. But first off, to have a great, or if you will, miraculous effect of, uh, on your health through diet, what do you have to eat? Well, an apple a day is not enough, sorry. Contrary to popular belief, there is today no confusion among nutrition scientists as to what food items are healthy and which are not. Health authorities in all countries encourage us to eat more plant foods, such as fruits, vegetables, whole grain, legumes, berries, nuts and seeds. And even though no miracles are promised, the World Cancer Research Fund does also recommend both the general public and cancer patients to enjoy a plant-based diet. For it is shown that eating more plant foods will reduce your risk of cancer, reduce your risk of recurrence, and reduce your risk of dying of cancer, but not reverse the disease. If you increase plant foods, you have to decrease the two other types of foods, animal foods and processed foods. Most health authorities recommend only a moderate modest decrease of these less healthy food items, and some, some are, are even recognized as healthy. Among animal products, fish and low-fat dairy, and among processed foods, non-tropical vegetable oils. The pioneering researchers, however, who sought to design studies for an intensive dietary change to show the full potential of our food did choose to eliminate all animal and all processed foods. This dietary pattern is generally called whole foods plant-based diet. Does this mean we should all become vegans? Well, first off, being a vegan is absolutely wonderful. I mean, just look how happy they are. Don't be afraid to go vegan. but. Making an intensive dietary change for your health is not necessarily the same thing as, as becoming a vegan. However, a vegan generally has the most healthy dietary pattern to start with. But what are the diseases where diet have been shown to have a miraculous effect? A disease that has been shown convincingly to be reversed by a plant-based diet is cardiovascular disease which is when the arteries to your heart gets blocked by atherosclerotic plaques. It has been known for almost a century that 
in the cultures that consume only plant foods, the, there is virtually no cardiovascular disease. So in the 50s, studies like this began to appear. Here, a single physician inspired 50 of his patients to eat a plant-based diet and compared their outcome to 50 of his other patients and found that after eight years, there were more than twice as, twice as many alive in the diet group. A study like this brings basically no evidence, and standard treatment of the time was basically just lying in bed, so no proof of miracles yet. To prove that a diet can reverse cardiovascular disease, you need to have patients with a severe cardiovascular disease, have them undergo an x-ray of their coronary arteries, inspire them to change their diet, and finally, after let's say five years, you repeat the x-ray. This exactly this was done independently by these two scientists, doctors Dean Ornish and Caldwell Esselstyn. Without going into too much detail, there were differences in the design of their studies. Ornish's study was randomized, Esselstyn's was not. Ornish also included 30 minutes of low intensive exercise, like walking. Esselstyn's only intervention was diet for change. Their results, however, were the same. After five years on a plant-based diet, the vast majority of patients had an X-ray of the coronary arteries that showed a regression of the disease. The atherosclerotic plaques had dissolved, allowing an increased diameter of blood flow. Regression of a disease known to be progressive. Regression of a disease known to be progressive. Now this is a miracle. Reversal of cardiovascular disease is not possible by any medicine, any medical procedure, or any other diet. Let me repeat, not by any medicine, any medical procedure, or any other diet. Giving you an exact grading of the evidence available from these studies, together with all that is known on diet and cardiovascular disease, is not possible during this brief presentation, but as a parallel, I can tell you about a different study which had virtually the same design as, as um, Esselstyn, but instead of diet, the intervention was a cancer drug. It was simply given to 58 cancer patients, no control group. Normally, this isn't enough to have a drug authorized by health authorities. You need a randomized trial with a control group. But this study alone was sufficient to authorize this drug. Why? Because the results showed regression of a disease known to be progressive. Does it sound familiar? There is, of course, no reason to have a higher demand of evidence for fruits and vegetables than for an expensive drug with potentially lethal side effects, is there? So what happened after the publication of Ornish and Esselstyn's results? Did cardiologists and general practitioners all over the world start spreading these results to all patients with cardiovascular disease, major risk factors? No, they did not. Why? Well, the main reason for most is that they never heard of them, but this is still true today. So these studies must be recently published, right? No, they were published in 1999. 20 years ago. Indian researchers have even repeated Ornish study on a larger scale in 2011 with more or less identical results. So 20 years have passed without heart patients receiving information on the only treatment that has the potential to cure the disease. This is nothing short of a health scandal. Cardiovascular disease is the number one cause of death in virtually all industrialized countries. Sweden is no exception. A staggering 25,000 Swedes get a heart attack every year and 6,000 die from the heart attack. Let's start spreading this information and make the death count zero. Every premature death is a senseless tragedy, and these 6,000 can be avoided. Let's move on to other diseases we can reverse with a plant-based diet. If arteriosclerosis is clogging the arteries to your heart, what is happening to all the other arteries 
in your bodies? Well, naturally the same thing. What diseases rises then? If the arteries to your brain gets clogged, you get vascular dementia or a stroke. If the arteries to your genitals get blocked, you get impotence in men and sex sexual, dif sexual dysfunction in women. To your kidneys, kidney disease, hypertension, to your legs, severe pains, wounds that never heal, or inability to walk, a staggering amount of lost quality of life. Dietary effects on these diseases have not been studied directly as for cardiovascular disease, so we can't say exactly to what extent they will be reversed with a plant-based diet, but we do know that a plant-based diet will reverse the underlying process which leads to these diseases, and therefore it is definitely our best bet if we want to avoid or try to reverse any atherosclerotic disease. A short note on type 2 diabetes. Multiple studies have shown complete reversal of this disease with an intensive dietary change. However, not, however, not only whole food, plant-based diet, but it does show many advantages compared to other uh, other dietary patterns. Uh, I will mention three. Uh, to start, as you have a more pronounced reduction of insulin resistance, which is the underlying cause of the disease, as well as a more pronounced reduction of blood lipids and inflammation. My favorite study on type 2 diabetes is this one. It was conducted on a health resort where patients with diabetic neuropathy, sharp burning pains in the feet and legs due to diabetes, reported complete relief of pain within days after having switched to a plant-based diet. We're talking about years, maybe decades of suffering that ends within days all due to plant foods. As for prevention, is, is a plant-based diet also superior in preventing diseases? Well, that is what available data is suggesting. Looking at published reviews that compare people who eat plant-based diet to, the, to those who do not, show that the plant eaters have less disease and less obesity. And there is a lot of disease to be prevented. Diet is today our number one killer, causing more disease and premature death than smoking worldwide, according to the World Health Organization. In Sweden, the caloric percentage of the less healthy food items, animal foods and processed foods, is 85%. Only 15% of what we eat is whole plant foods. It's obvious that the amount of health we can enjoy by switching our diet is beyond imagination. If you already have a disease and wish to try to reverse it or relieve symptoms, be aware of three things. First, if, you di if your disease is not cardiovascular disease or type 2 diabetes, the scientific proof exactly to what extent the diet will work might be weaker, but probably still worth a shot if you ask me. Second, a dietary shift should always be a complementary treatment, not an alternative. Don't stop taking your medications unless your caretaker advises you to. And third, anyone who starts focusing their diet on more plant foods should take a supplement of vitamin B12 and, depending on your sun exposure, possibly vitamin D. Which brings us to the last important point. Yes, you get healthier on a plant-based diet, true, but don't you get deficiencies? No. A well-planned, completely plant-based diet with addition of B12 is healthy, nutritionally adequate, and appropriate in all stages of life. Let me repeat, all stages of life. This is according to the world's largest association of nutritionists and dietitians, the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. So to summarize, eating healthy is about cutting animal products from our diet as well as processed foods and enjoying plant foods. This dietary shift has the potential to reverse some of our leading causes of death as well as to prevent them from ever causing us suffering. We can enjoy a long, active and healthy life savoring the wonderful flavors and colors of plant foods starting today. 
Despite all these benefits, an animal-based product is still dominant on our plates. Why? Because of obsolete traditions, false notions on nutrition, disinformation from the meat and dairy industry, especially the dairy industry, and peer pressure. It is time for us to see through all this disinformation, to let go of these obsolete traditions and to act according to what we know is best for us. Let us enjoy a plant-based diet and experience the miracles of food. Thank you. <laughs>